Good day, YouTubers! Hi, everyone, people who have subscribed to my YouTube channel and those who have just happened to click on this video. This is part one on how to make a simple um, hot air balloon ride on scratch, purely on scratch. Um, and by the way, if you don't know who I am or what we do on this YouTube channel, I am Dana Ayani, the host, founder, and CEO of this YouTube channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Up there, there is a 10 minutes tops because each video is going to be nothing more than 10 minutes. So that means it's going to be straightforward and easy to download. Alright. Alright, so let's just get right into business, shall we? This is what we're going to be making. Wait a second, this game is familiar. Oh yes, it actually is. I saw it on um, Play Store, right? I think it's on Play Store, right? Yeah, Play Store, definitely. And um, I thought, yeah, I could totally make this. And BAM! Made it in no time. Out of my own knowledge. And now I'm going to teach you how to do it so you don't have to go on Play Store all the time. Especially if your nutty older brother doesn't want to you to take his phone away. Yeah, you're welcome. Alright, so let's get started. Oh, and by the way, one thing though, I'm using mBlock for this because uh, for those of you that are new to Scratch, uh, this isn't Scratch, this is mBlock. It, it's kind of like Scratch, except um, it has differences, like some differences. Like this is at the side, and it has more sprites. Like the hot air balloon was a sprite. So, um, I'm just gonna quickly export it and import it back to scratch. One second. And I'm done with that. So, this costume, I painted it myself. It's when you're vulnerable to attacks from the danger. This one is when the danger is not a problem to you at all. So, I already made the basic code. One flap, like, switch to hot air balloon 3 that's like the um the vulnerable one and go to mouse pointer uh, there we go see works that works so that's the basic script for this for now N next let's add the danger it's just gonna be like um, it's gonna be a rectangle with spikes at the bottom. Or something like that. So our goal is for it to start here. And um, go down here, then vanish, disappear, because we don't need that anymore. Okay. So let's design. What? Boom. Check it. Th there is a long one. There's a medium, and there's a small. Okay. So these three costumes, it's gonna make clones of itself, and the clones are gonna appear from here, as you said, and gonna go all the way down here and then vanish. Unless it touch the player, then it's game over. I already have some of the codes here. When flat clicked, hide. The original thing hides, and until the game is done, it creates clones of itself and waits 0.5 seconds between each clone so they're not clones everywhere so because we the player needs space to go around and when i start as a clone show because the original thing was hiding so now this isn't really gonna seem like it's doing much see it's actually making the clones just that the clones are stacked on top of each other so let's make them move but first let me teach you something a little bit about coordinates don't worry, this isn't going to be like a Professor Wilbur's math class. Just kidding, it's definitely going to be like a math class. But seriously though, let's get down to business. Now, as you can see, this Y, 
Oh, but if you're already familiar with the idea of coordinates, just fast forward. But if you aren't, then you're really going to need to listen to this part. So, as you can see this Y, right? This Y position is like, it increases as you go up and decreases as you go down. The middle is zero. Same with the X. The X position, it decreases as you go left and it decreases as you, no, it increases as you go right and it decreases as you go left. The middle is also zero. So, um, so we wanted to pick a random X position from negative 240 to 240. That's from here to here. From this side to this side. And its Y position should be, um, 180. That's at the top. And when it reaches negative 180 or maybe like 170, we delete the clone because, you know, we don't need it anymore. So let's get to it. First, let's add a set y to 180. No, wait, set y to 180 at the beginning. Whenever it's a clone, set y to 180. And um, set x to pick random. Negative 240 to 240. Negative 240 to 240. And uh, repeat until repeat until touching. No, wait, repeat until. Y position, that's like the up and down position, is equal to 170. Oh no, it is less than 170. Okay. Y position is less than 170. You might be wondering what? Let me explain this to you. Less than 170, that is like, since it's minus 170, the less than is 171 to 180 and blah blah blah. That's how coordinates work, or how like minus stuff work. I'll explain it to you more in the next video, but right now let's just do this, because we only have like 7 minutes left. I mean 3 minutes left. <coughs> okay. So change y by negative 10. Change y by negative 10. Yeah, then when it's done with that, like when it's reached the bottom, delete the clone. Deletes this clone. Alright, let's see how that works. As you can see, it already looks like the main thing. Except for one thing. It's only like one costume. But we can fix that. It's really simple. All I have to do is go to looks. Switch costume to at the beginning. Switch costume to operators. Pick random one, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. So uh, that's about it for this tutorial. Um, watch out for the next tutorial. I'm gonna make it should be like right there, I think. Yeah, well, right there, somewhere over there. Like at the top of the list, right there. Check, it should be right there. Anyway, so I'm just gonna real quick make the um, backdrop a little bit darker. One second. Okay, done with that. Color zero, saturation zero, brightness 73. You can make it any color you want. In fact, you can make it even more colorful than it already is. You don't have to do it all black and white. Anyway, see you in my next.